So what impact will someone's credit card limits have on their borrowing capacity? Uh, credit cards, my favorite conversation with someone. I hate that. Do we, do, we, do we have any credit cards and do we have any of those other credit cards that you can't remember that you've got? Go MasterCard, 28 degrees, don't pay any fees, they're sitting there. So when you put the application in, they come back, oh, we've got another credit card that you haven't declared. Uh, credit cards do impact your serviceability quite markedly. They're based on limit, not on what you owe. So keep in mind, um, if you paid some of your credit card and your servicing is a bit tight, you can always lower your limit on a card and that will improve your serviceability. Um, other options are to potentially close them or consolidate them into your new debt. Um, there's different ways of looking at that. When we're doing uh, an assessment, we take all your liabilities. I think um, it's a good point. Two parts to a home loan. First part, your deposit, which is your bite of the cherry. So what you bring to the table. That's gonna uh, affect loan to value ratio and it's gonna determine what the product will be and how much a lender will lend in relation to your loan value ratio. So that old classic, oh, I need 5%. Probably more around that eight to ten percent for an owner-occupied property when you're taking into consideration all your costs. The second part of a home loan is your serviceability, which is based on how much you earn, how much you owe, and how much you spend. So that's where credit cards fit into that. So the rule of thumb: a limit on a credit card will usually affect it five to about five times whatever the limit is to your serviceability. So if you've got a um, a ten thousand dollar card, it will impact it between fifty and sixty thousand dollars wow. less. Wow. And and tell me a little bit about um, you know the changes and especially the way the banks would look at credit cards going forward. Not only the limit, but you know you mentioned how you actually service your credit cards. Yeah, absolutely. Our positive credit reporting has just come into Australia. Uh, it's been in overseas, uh, England and America have had it for quite some time now. What that means is when you do credit scoring, which a bank will do your credit score and they'll check your file, now the information is, is at hand. So they'll know how many credit cards you have, uh, what the limits are. They'll also be able to see your uh, conduct so they can see if you're paying your credit cards late, uh, which is important for home loans. Um, yeah. That type of thing is a big um, consideration for lenders. What they want to see is good conduct across all your, your lending facilities. So for people that do pay their credit cards, that's great. You'll get a better credit score because that will actually be something that they will look at. Whereas previously it was only negative um, conduct. So if you had defaults or issues with your uh, repayments past a certain point, which is normally 30 to 60 days mm -hmm. before it come up, now what we're seeing is a shorter turnaround on that. Wow, that changes a lot of things for people. <laughs> Pay your credit cards on time is my tip for that one. That's right, or close them. <laughs>